This is Liam. Liam is in my class this semester at Greensboro College, and one of his main goals is that he wants to land an analytics internship by the end of the semester. So everybody knows that in order to land a job, you need to nail your interview. In order to get the interview, you either need a referral or you need a solid resume. By the end of the next month, Liam is going to be able to add this project to his resume. In this video, I'm going to break down the project that my students are going to be working on and just tell the story of how this all came about. If you're new here, my name is John David, and I'm a practicing analytics professor. So I run my own boutique consulting agency in the analytics space, and I also teach analytics at Greensboro College. And in some situations, like we're going to talk about today, I get to meld the two together. So we're currently in the third week of the semester, and I took my students to my co-working space in downtown Greensboro, and we got to meet one of my former clients. So today was a blast. My students got to talk with the CFO. This is the exact kind of professional that they might be interviewing with when they graduate from Greensboro College in the next nine months. But also, Charlie is a former client of mine. So we got kind of an insider's view of how executives can use data to drive decisions. So the project that the students are going to be working on is that Charlie is a fractional CFO, and one of his clients currently is using quite a bit of employee time to calculate how much tax they owe for each individual client. What the students are going to work on over the next month is creating an automated system so that Power BI can connect to multiple data sources, combine them into a cohesive data model, then build a visualization on top of that data model so that instead of spending four days out of the month of this employee's time, they can log into their Power BI server, hit a drop down menu, and select the client they want, and then bam, that's the tax that they owe for that client. What this process does is it essentially acts like a human. So it's going to go through and we're going to study what this employee is doing on those four days out of the month that he's working on this and then recreate that in an automated sense in Power BI. So what's great about Power BI is that it allows you to connect to multiple data sources, transform the data in the transform data tab so that you can apply all of these different steps. So you tell it to connect to this data source, go to this tab, pull in that data, you know, change this from a number to a date, do this calculation. All of that is going to be automated, which is really, really impressive coming from a college senior. So understanding how to automate this is huge. Before we get into the specific calculation of how I got to that 11,520, Let's talk about, broadly speaking, why is it such a good idea to quantify the impact of your work? These are the stories that you're going to bring into your interview. So if you have a big win, let's say you uncovered a $50,000 insight, these are the stories that your future employers or whoever, the manager that you might be working for that wants to promote you, they want to know these stories because they're looking at what kind of return on investment can I get from this employee? So if you have a cohesive story about how you created value and then you can tell, you know, a breakdown of this is what we did, this was the problem, this is how we solved it, that helps you really stand out during the interview process. Also, too, you can write that, like we did with Liam, in your resume and it's going to start to catch people's attention because very few people are doing an effective job of this. So it's a way that you can really stand out. All right, so here's the calculation. So. The employee works an eight hour day times four times out of the month. They're 12 months out of the year. And let's say that it's a low level accountant. Let's say they make roughly $30 an hour, $60,000 a year. So four times eight times 12 times 30 is how we got to that $11,520 mark. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing or you can check out the rest of the channel. So I have over 200 videos related to analytics where I've interviewed people in the industry. I've also interviewed past students of mine who have broken into the industry and they're telling their story of what was the interview process like and just we get to celebrate their success. I hope you enjoyed it.